Hi guys, what's up? This is Enrique. This is another Critique Corner. Critique Corner, essentially this segment's going to be about me critiquing people's stuff. Anybody who is watching this, you can submit something and get my feedback on it. I don't know everything, but I do know a decent amount, you know what I mean? And it's another person's opinion. Uh, so, also, uh, you can also get, uh, if you guys are watching this, if you have something to say that maybe I didn't say, post it in the comments below, you know what I mean? This is a community. As artists, we got to push each other forward because we kind of know the struggles of each, you know, other artist, I would hope. You know, it's a brotherhood. It's not, I mean, it's kind of competitive, but I mean, I don't think I'm competitive with anybody, really. It's If it's a com competition thing, it's like a little lighthearted thing. But if you want to send anything in to this segment uh, for me to look at, and I'll make a video about it, uh, it is at right here. This is the email, Omega Man. 20 at gmail.com o-m-e-g-a-m-a-n-2-0 at gmail.com and uh you know so let me let's start this one right here uh, another thing about these critiques is these are on the spot critiques meaning uh i didn't really think about what i'm gonna say so you gotta bear with me and uh, this is gonna be you know my first time really looking at this and critiquing it so okay this uh, submission is from adam smisic Smisek, I'm sorry, if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. This is uh, Deathstroke. So, you know, right off the bat, first thing I'm going to say is take a better picture. <laughs> the picture, like the, from the camera, you know what I mean? It's kind of dark. It's kind of, uh, it has a kind of grayscale thing going on. So I can't really see the contrast. I would say scan it. That's first thing. Scan it. And that's a presentation thing, by the way. I know you might think that's like a menial thing, but uh presentation is really important you know what i mean so i would say at, at every moment scan it whenever you can you know or at least take a, a more dead on one so there's kind of like some shadow over here uh so let me try something here sometimes i do this with uh drawings that are a little bit faint because i feel this drawing's a little bit faint i would try to do an auto tone on it there you go see the auto tone kind of helps a little bit of it just so i can see more of what's going on and let me copy and paste that so i can just uh kind of draw over it oh i also use digital by the way digital is, I, I feel is easier to point out stuff so i don't like it just seems it's a lot easier to point out that's really my opinion um okay first off i would say with uh, with him be very careful with how he's standing see how his foot right here is on a different it's on a different plane his feet you know what i mean he doesn't look like he's standing so much it kind of looks like he's dragging one foot a little bit unless i, I guess he is in motion but if he was in motion i would absolutely watch the levels to his feet so this foot if you were to see through his foot he's kind of stepping on the ground like that's a flat floor he's stepping on i know he's kind of going over a hill kind of thing going on and this one it's a little bit it's a little bit different it just doesn't seem like it's on the same it looks more like this i would say just kind of watch the feet overall like i said the picture just needs to get darker and I don't. I, don't, I would definitely use not uh, paper with no lines on it for sure. Just as a side note. Um, let's see this down here. See how his pose is? It's a little bit stiff, you know. And I know some people sometimes they do that depend on comics, depending on what they're doing. But see how the angle of his shoulders? He's walking, right? So I'm assuming he's gonna be a little bit, you know, sometimes a little bit dynamic. Uh, his shoulders and his hips are a little bit too straight, and that kind of makes that kind of makes the pose a little bit stiff. You know what I mean? Normally, what you want is you want those angles to be kind of countered. So let's say he's there, and let's say he's swinging that arm right. Let's say he's swinging that arm, and he's he's uh, swinging this arm backwards. You want kind of his hips to. Be a little, a little bit off kilter, a little bit, not a lot. So let's say he's throwing. If he's throwing this hand forward, he's gonna be throwing that other foot, this foot right here. He's gonna be throwing that foot for uh, walking forward, right? So his pose would kind of be a little bit different. Yeah, you know I mean, I would say if you really want to think, uh, you know, when you when you think about the walking, I would kind of act it out. 
beforehand. I know that seems crazy and, and you know, people are going to look at you like you're insane. But, but I would say act out the pose. Really think about how you naturally walk. You know what I mean? And that will kind of relate it to, you know, think about real life. Uh, another thing, I, uh, another big thing I noticed would be the pelvis. You got to, I don't know, I'm, I can't tell. It looks like he has a belt right here. And he kind of has like no crotch area. You know what I mean? I know it's a weird area. But he's got to have some some sort of a some some sort of a pelvis you know what i mean it looks like his pelvis is uh totally gone so just remember to add that in you know right here if we were to break let's let's break this dude down a little bit so you got the circle for the head i think his head might be a little too big but he's wearing a mask though that kind of increases the size of his head so Center line here. See, it's pulled to the shoulder to shoulder. That kind of. And right now, I'm just breaking it down. I'm not so much drawing as much as I'm trying to figure out how would you change this pose. Like I said before, depending on what's going on here, his hip comes from the side, so his foot be more like that let me get rid of this line here so if we're to break it down into simple shapes simple tubes I think his feet are a little too big too a little bit a little bit see so no actually that foot has to be forward right so this foot's gonna be kicking off this foot is gonna be kicking off over here kinda cuz this foot it's forward. You, ca you catch yourself as you're fall. You know, you're kind of like when you walk, you're essentially kind of catching yourself from falling with your foot. And this foot could almost be the back foot, almost. Almost there, you know. Also, think about the way the ball of the foot moves. You know what I mean? The ball of foot's not going to be flat. That's another thing I think that's making it look uh, stiff. Is, uh,. See how the foot, let me see, he would be pushing, right, let's say, let's take your pose, he'd be pushing his weight off his back foot, right, so his foot wouldn't, if you're pushing your weight off, he wouldn't, he wouldn't keep it flat like that, it would be more of a, uh, it'd be more of a, he'd be on the ball of his foot a little bit, you know what I mean, because he's pushing all his weight off it, think about how you push your weight, that's what I mean by acting it out, kind of, think about how you walk normally. And you're pushing your weight off the balls of your foot normally when you're when you're walking forward, running forward uh, sometimes. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else I can think of. Watch his hand uh, when I'm constructing his hand. I like how you did that. You know, it's a good way to kind of construct it, keeping it simple there. I would say remember that the, I, I don't actually know how this how Deathstroke's outfit looks on his hand, and uh, I don't really want to pull that up. But regardless, I would say. Think of the hand as a separate entity. You know what I mean? When I'm when I'm thinking about how to draw the hand, I would think of the hand as a separate construction. Right now, it, it kind of looks too much like a giant, like it's a kind of like a giant tube, and and that can look like I've seen guys with gun hands, you know, and sometimes it just works out that way. It does look like a giant tube, but like I said, without seeing the character himself, I would say, but I would say just caution yourself and really really think of the hand itself as it's a totally separate thing when i'm starting to draw hands yeah i normally have to like be like okay now i'm gonna have to i just kind of put in the hand like the square there and then later on i have to be like okay now i have to go into the details of the hand you know what i'm saying i i think of it so separately because there's so much going on if you want to go check out my hand uh i think i have a hand tutorial and a fist tutorial uh check that out um i think that's about it right now I like the way uh, you completed everything. You know, you did something that I did I couldn't do when I was younger. I couldn't really complete anything I started. <laughs> you know what I mean? That was just a bad habit. I like that. I'm glad that you did this. Uh, you know, keep pushing it. Watch out for the also the the pecs here are a little bit a little bit odd shaped. You know, they do have this square shape, but I would go into anatomy books and really look at the kind of where they tie into the armpit area or where they tie into the deltoid area. You mean to kind of combine them? Or I think this is uh, armor, right? I'm not sure. 
regardless be careful of the shape they look a little uh, they look a little lopsided regardless so uh, okay so let me go back and recap what I was saying okay number one don't do this on line paper anymore never <laughs> do this on clear sheet of paper if this if these grids help you kind of size things out I understand that okay then just then ignore what I said do it if they if it if these grid you know like I said sometimes for graph paper it helps people even stuff out I get it there's a measuring tool but I, I, it's not good for presenting. I, I don't think I would do it. You know, if you were gonna present it, do it like maybe darker. You know, it's just very light. You see how dark these blue lines are compared to the, the drawing itself. The line on the paper is so much, is so dark. So, uh, another thing, like I said, watch the size of the head. I think it's a little bit too big. Uh, watch this back foot. Make it bend. You know, what I mean, think about how people really walk. You know what I mean? There's more of a bend of the leg, I believe, too. Sometimes, depending. Depending, you know, look at reference, look at, look at videos of people walking on YouTube, you know, uh, really think about how people walk and, uh, that would, that would help a lot. You know what I mean? It would help little things right off the bat. Um, I think this, this foot, you know, because for, like I said, for example, this relates to the walking, this arm is forward, right? That would make his, his other, this leg should be forward. You know what I mean? Right now you have him walking kind of oddly. He's kind of like, you know what I mean? He's walking with both his, his right leg and his right arm going forward you know um make it dark on the page let me see what i say give him a pelvis give the dude a pelvis um i don't know that's about it i think that's about it ground him maybe a little bit better but uh yeah you did a really good job man thanks i'm, I'm so glad you sent this in and uh if anybody in the comments you guys have anything i might have missed uh shoot a comment below you know this is a community guys all right uh, so, like I said, just to recap on uh, the where to send stuff, send a picture or video to, I'm sorry, video, send a picture <laughs> to Omega Man 20 and Omega Man 20 at Gmail. Hopefully it pops up. It's kind of, uh, it looks kind of dark right now because I did the lightning thing. Send an email to Omega Man 20 at gmail.com and I'll just I'll critique it and I'll make a little video about it so I want to do one of these a week so send some in guys I'll talk to you later and uh, stay creative guys